Good evening. It's early in the evening, and I had to show you this little ditty here. Now, I am actually underneath the George Washington Memorial Bridge. Now, this is part of the historical Aurora Bridge, and it was a main freeway that would take people north and south before the I-5 freeway here in this part of the Pacific Northwest of Seattle. Now, I can't film the real troll. This is an area called Fremont, and just nearby, underneath this bridge, is an 18-foot, gigantically huge, built out of concrete cement and holding an old Volkswagen bug. Babushka, the bug is a couple years older, I believe, than my 1973 powder blue Volkswagen bug. Remember I had that? That was, my model was modeled after the Herbie Mobile from the Disney movie. But there's a huge ass troll and it's got a Volkswagen bug hubcap for one of its eyes. And, uh, and it's holding a bug, all smothered in concrete. Now inside, used to be, inside the bug was a time capsule which included a bust of Elvis Presley and Elvis memorabilia. But I think about 10 years ago or so, it was smashed into and the Elvis bust was stolen. <laughs> But it was built in 1990, well, 1989, 1990. Um, the Fremont Art Society got a ton of money to build this structure, you know, this, uh, this captivating monster. And it's right at the end part of the bridge. It was a way they felt to make the place more appealing and pretty and to get rid of like I don't know an increase of drug dealers and naughty goings on in this area so I can't film the actual troll because I'm not allowed to it's under copyright and that's okay I respect that I didn't know at first until I did some more research and uh, and someone else's art that that's their thing so the original uh, artist is a guy named Steve Badanus and uh, I'll le leave information about this guy in the description or if you guys want to you can look up the Fremont troll for yourself but yeah, it's incredible looking. And I know, Babushka, when you were young, you were taken to see this, I believe. I never wanted to see it. I had already seen enough monsters in my life. And uh, I was trying to get used to or to kind of learn to enjoy horror films, but to this day, I have a hard time with them. I've tried, but I just kind of scrapped that years ago. But, uh, yeah, there were three other artists, and, uh, you know, they also changed the street here. The cross street, it used to be um, 34th Avenue. It's now... Troll Avenue Bridge and uh, even toward the away, oh I would say how many feet away about 20 feet away from here are uh, cute little brass you know plaques of three billy goats so this is based on the fairy tale story or poem of the three billy goats gruff goes way, way back. So
So let's talk about it. And I'll show you part of the bridge. So let's grab this little guy. Isn't he adorable? Gosh. <laughs> so cute. These were really, really popular. This isn't like the Disney troll. This is like one of the originals. And I've been waiting for that little doll for a long time. They were very popular in the late 60s and early 70s. I always wanted to have one as a kid, but never got one, even though I wanted to. So let's take a walk. Let's talk about this bridge. Isn't this gorgeous? I had never gotten to really take a hard look at that troll until actually a few years ago. I've always been busy working, but I remember an occasion when you and some other girls had a chance to go see it. Maybe it was affiliated with Girl Scout Troop. I'm not sure, but I was cool with it if you did get to see it in that way. If not, let me know. Oh no, somebody lost their collar. Could be to a doggy or a kitty. I don't know. But now, troll is very common in lots of historical, like mythos and stories and what have you. Let's get into this. I've been doing a lot of research about the origins of words and what they mean. And to define the word troll or to use it is common nowadays, very common, to be trolling or to troll somebody or to be a troll in a group is basically somebody who ruins things. And I feel that the common word for troll for social media, it came out of like say the gay community at gay gatherings or get togethers and the leather community as well. A troll would be somebody who would disrupt people's space and just kind of ruin things. And that's kind of how it has evolved maybe within the past 20 years or so. But troll goes back actually to us. Uh, oh, that's an interesting sign. It goes back actually to Scandinavian folklore. Some of it does go to Kent folk or uh, to uh, Celtic folklore. Isn't this gorgeous? Look how huge this is. All of it. The George Washington Bridge. Let me give you a better view. Check that out. Absolutely beautiful goes all the way down here. <sighs> Let me see. This is a long one. You could actually write a whole thesis on this subject, along with other fairy tales from other cultures and how words evolve and what they mean. And it has to do with how humans evolved and how they traveled. And I do believe it has to do with a clash of different groups of people, different levels of societies. I believe that this goes back. Actually, I'm gonna cross over here. I'm gonna show you something hella cool. I think that this goes way, way back to maybe the 12th century. 
actual lake side. With Scandinavian, Scandinavian, sorry, and Germanic cultures and having to do with property. As soon as I cross the street here, I'll give you the details. Okay, here we're crossing the street. So, if you really look into it historically, back in the day, we're looking at the Middle Ages here, and ruling classes or, ex you know, classes who were exploring for new lands out in, say, Iceland, you know, all of that. They wanted the better parts of the land, and that was treacherous territory. Now, it is said, and I'm going to have to do more research on it, but it makes sense to me, and like I say all the time, what the hell do I know? But it's said that the travelers, the pioneers, so to speak, that wanted to have the better lands had to deal with the natives of those regions. Now, there are some theories that the natives may have been more like the Neanderthal, but there's no archeological or scientific proof of that. They could have been a more primitive group of various tribes with different ways of, uh, maybe they were more Paleolithic, you know, hunter-gatherers. Maybe they had different types of tools and what have you, and had been living there far longer than these explorers. And so you get the whole, I don't know. I mean, and it's documented too, if you really look into it. The word troll came about out of that as an unwanted creature a way of dehumanizing a group of people to want their land and not to understand their customs and ways. Isn't this beautiful? So, they took away the land from those people. Maybe the people lived in caves partially for survival because you got to understand that region was very cold. Maybe they were driven into them. And yeah, maybe their looks were a little bit different. But troll, if you look at it in fairy tales, you know, they dwell in mountains or caves and they're not Christianized. Now that's very important and they get destroyed with the sunlight. There's one Germanic word for troll, and that's fiend, or trulen, or if you want to look at another word, I'm trying to remember, I think it, this one could come from Switzerland, the Grendel. You know, remember the story of Beowulf. They were also known as man-eaters. Food for thought. Isn't this gorgeous here? This is another part of Lake Washington. And we're near the rowing club. Isn't that fantastic? Yeah, it's really beautiful out here, isn't it? I don't want you to get bit. Oh, I'll be fine. I, you know, I, there's somebody near me. I put oh, on. You didn't see me I, sitting here? Yeah, I'm doing a YouTube video for my kid. But 
I put on, you know what works for mosquitoes? Avon Skin So Soft. I learned that back in the 90s. Right, right. It totally works and it smells good. Avon anymore. Dude, you need to you, sit down on the... No, ma'am, I'm fine. I'm going to end this video soon. But you can get it online. Anyways... No, I'm great because I'm filming this. I'm fine. Oh. This is going to be uploaded on YouTube, so I'm going to finish, okay? Oh, you're a it doll. was great. You're a thank, doll. Thank you're you awesome. You. You're just so pretty, and you have that glow. Oh, Lord have mercy. Pretty is as pretty does. Yeah, it is. You what know, I'm saying <laughs> is that, but you have the chemistry. I see oh, that. dude. I'm feeling good. I'm on vacation. Oh, where are you, where are you on vacation? I want to finish the YouTube video. Okay. It's all good. It's all good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna I work in grocery, yeah. but I'm going to finish this, okay? Right on. Anyways, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I hope you're all enjoying the view. And I'm going to go to bed here soon, and uh, I just thought you'd find that interesting because I think I'm going to use some of that mythology in my stories. Aren't those beautiful? I love the color of orange. Just absolutely fantastic. So, I'm gonna get ready to go home here and go to bed. And I was just so excited just to show you that area. You can use your imagination and then look up that ugly ass, what the junk, Fremont troll. It's fantastic. But understand where that word comes from and how words evolve. That was a word of prejudice and it was a word of dehumanization. Now it's a common word and words do change for whatever reason. And we do, we know what obvious racist and bad words that dehumanize are. They're out there. And we know what they're for and what they can do. Anyways, oh, check out more Canadian geese. Oh, and there's an airplane. All right, I'm going to stop this here and thank you all for liking sharing and subscribing keep on keeping on smell a bella out take care bye